winner. Let's get qualification at this shit. Another one. Your winner, Cassandra Gillis. What's up guys, it's Cass and welcome back to the Dragon Pharma YouTube channel. Today is episode four and we are three weeks out from the Olympia. Today we are gonna do a quad day at West Coast Iron. It's an awesome gym here in Port Coquitlam, BC. Yeah, it's it's been tough. We're three weeks out now and um, I'm starting to feel it. I'm a bit more <laughs> slow when it comes to, you know, thinking. Um, forgot my son's lunch today. I uh, had to drop that off and I was a little bit late here, but other than that, everything's been going good. So before we get started on this leg day, I'm gonna take my pump and my pre-workout. Let's get started. So I always add a little bit of glutes on my quad days because I don't train quads too heavy. I've had to actually bring them down at one point in my uh, competition career. So I'm just getting warmed up here. I'm gonna start with the adductor machine. Usually just two to three sets for warming up. Taking it nice and slow. I always like to do a bit of stretching in between sets when I warm up. I'm just gonna do one more set here and then we're gonna go on to a compound movement. Going up just a little bit in weight. I usually like to get the harder exercises out of the way in the beginning. So I'm gonna start with the hack squat. So I'm just gonna start with one plate here. Just for 12 reps. And the closer I get, I like to keep rest time um, a little bit shorter. So I'll do 60 to 90 seconds max. I'm gonna add two plates now and see how many I can get. So for me, I've really been focusing on trying to keep my waistline down. So it's important that I'm not pushing my stomach out from going too heavy, just really focusing on keeping everything tight and controlled.
So I'm gonna do three sets of this, and then I'm gonna move on to the leg press. For quad day, I have my feet close together, but other times I will do high and wide, or high and close together. I haven't used this leg press in a while, but this one's more quad focused than the one I normally use. For leg press, I generally like to do higher reps. Feel the burn, 15 to 20 reps. This is pretty easy, so I'm gonna have to go up. One more set. So lately for leg extensions, I've been twisting outwards at the top and I've learned that this will help activate the upper part of my quad, which I feel like needs a little bit of work.
So we did three sets of single leg, and now we're gonna do three of both legs. So for these machines, I like to make sure it's pulled back as far as it can go. So we're just really getting that full range of motion, nice and controlled. And I think I'm gonna end with um, the belt squat. This is a great one for wellness athletes because we need the asymmetry, meaning we need a smaller upper body than lower body. So we can go a bit heavier without putting any weight on my shoulders. So for this, I'm gonna do a wide sumo stance. So I'll be hitting my adductors as well as my glute medius. I'm just taking it nice and slow and pushing the knees out on the way down. I usually do three to four sets on this one. You wanna try not to let yourself use this to push up, but just for stability. I really don't want to do another one, but we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, almost failed on that one. Okay, so that was my quad workout today for three weeks out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been hard the past week. Uh, I flew to another competition to uh, be a guest there and help out. That was really fun. It's a lot to travel though during those final weeks. I got home and my cat passed away, so that's been really hard as well. Um, but yeah, it'll just make you stronger when you make it through these times. So 
that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in Orlando at the Mr. Olympia.